All right, hey guys, um, I'm going to be doing a review for the movie San Andreas. Uh, I've been listening to some of your suggestions on what you'd like to hear in movie reviews and things like that, and I've taken it seriously. Uh, I think I'm going to be giving out more reviews based on, you know, from the home theater perspective, what it's like hearing all this stuff. And, and so that's what I'm going to be doing today. Um, got Angel over here, I got berries off camera. And I've got the PP16 Ultra there, which is pretty exciting. Uh, I've been doing all these videos and haven't even touched on that thing yet, but uh, I will get to it, I promise. Um, so anyway, uh, one of the things I wanted to, to show you guys, I actually changed the website a little bit. I had a problem with it. It's one of the things that slowed me down. Uh, I did that video about you know, how I was slowed down. Uh, I had some, some issues in the evacuation. And this was one of those things, My the website, just gave me some problems, so I had to actually go had to go through and change some stuff. But I actually did something that I think you might like. Uh, what I did is, let's see, let's zoom in here so you can see what I'm talking about. And if you go over here to enjoying your gear, let's see, let's get the bird going. And you go down to Atmos and DTS Mix Movies. So these are all going to be movies once it gets there. Uh, you know, I, I'm an Amazon affiliate, so I list stuff links to Amazon, and one of the things I did was I put all of these Atmos and DTSX movies together. And I didn't just slap them together, uh, I sorted them. So this is all Blu-ray uh, Atmos movies, okay? Which is, there's quite a few, and there's going to be more added to the list as it goes. And by the way, Roger Waters... Uh, the wall, man. I I've never been one that's been wild about concert movies, and it's not just the concert. It's there's some backstory to it, but it's an Atmos mixed uh, movie, and it is amazing. If you guys are at all interested in Pink Floyd and Roger Waters, that is a fantastic movie. I highly recommend that one. That's. That is so far my favorite Atmos movie to date, and it's just amazing. So if you guys are interested in that. Um, but also, as you go, go down, these are Dolby Atmos movies that are in 4K only, all right? Because some of the movies are like that. You can, like if you bought Deadpool on regular Blu-ray, you may not get the Atmos mix. So these are movies you have to buy in 4K to get the Atmos mix. And I'm not entirely sure whether the Blu-ray copies, because usually they give you a 4K copy and a Blu-ray copy. I'm not sure if the Blu-ray copy is going to have uh, Atmos on it. So, but anyway, so that's the uh, Dolby Atmos 4K. And then as you go down, these are DTSX movies. And these are on Blu-ray. And then the DTSX movies on 4K only. So, and... You know, as RO3D comes out, it'll have an RO3D section. But essentially what you guys can do is just go to this page, do some shopping for some movies. Like this right here, this is the big short. That's a great movie to watch. Uh, you know, you just click on that. It'll take you right to Amazon. And you can get that or whatever else you want to get from Amazon. But it's one of those things you guys can do. Just give me a little credit on that. Um, but anyway, uh, so I've got San Andreas on this, and this is the, the movie, San Andreas 3D. And this was my first Atmos mixed movie. Now, as you guys know, there's Angel, she's stretching. Uh, as you guys know, I did that uh, video about not getting uh, Dolby Atmos because, uh, and by the way, her nose is doing a lot better. Yeah, so you want to make sure that you've got your uh, your settings right. So if you guys haven't seen that video, you might want to check that out. Uh, there are some settings on your Blu-ray player. Uh, you can't use, you're not likely to get Atmos through your HDMI or through your ARC or your audio return channel. So if you run your, uh, you know, your, your Blu-ray player to your TV first and then to your amplifier, you may not be getting Atmos. And Granted, you may be watching this in, in, in 2035, and that problem's solved by now, but as of right now, it's no good. So, again, make sure you're seeing Atmos on your, your amplifier if you've got an Atmos movie. The difference is amazing. Um, but So this was my first movie that I actually watched uh, that had Atmos on it. And, well, actually, I, it was Dracula that I actually heard <laughs> the first Atmos. I watched this 
uh, both with Atmos and without Atmos. Wow, the difference having Atmos properly configured was amazing. Um, so, you know, there's a couple things about this movie. Uh, you know, it's got The Rock. Uh, it's got um, Paul Giamatti, who I love. I wa love watching that guy get mad. It's I don't know why, but it's one of my favorite things. Um, and it's got a lot of uh, great actors in it. And, you know, it, it's, it's a blockbuster movie. Okay, so if you're not into that action and things like that, this may not be the movie for you. Uh, and, you know, I, I've got a thing that I call... Uh, no effing ways. This movie had a total of six no effing ways, which is kind of big. Um, what's a no effing way? Uh, it's when you watch a scene and you're like, no effing way. No effing way that really could happen. You know, for example, flying your helicopter down into a gorge a couple inches away. Yeah, no effing way. So I counted six of those, which is kind of high, but you know, it, it's a blockbuster. What are you going to do? It's that's part of the part of the story um but anyway you know it's in terms of uh you know the sound and stuff like that the bass uh was phenomenal again the bass was much better when you had atmos actually properly configured uh it, it really changed it i mean i went from watching this movie at, at negative 19 uh to watching the movie at negative 23 that's just from having it from basic to actually having full Atmos. It made that much of a difference. Uh, you can crank it up to 19 or even higher, but wow, I mean, the, the, the dynamics were much better when you actually ran, had Atmos going. Uh, and the effects were better. I remember when I initially watched it and I what didn't have Atmos configured, wow, it, the, the I remember thinking, is this really what it's all about? I remember being kind of underwhelmed. But when I had Atmos properly configured uh, and it had everything going, man, there are certain scenes that just really stood out. One of them, probably the most, the scene that stood out the most was the garage scene. And I'm not going to give any spoilers, but when you have Atmos properly configured and all that, I mean, it really sounds like the ceiling's coming down on you. Okay, it's amazing. Uh, it, was, it was just, ah, it was awesome. So, uh, you know, again, it's a summer blockbuster. It's, it's action. It's, it's that kind of thing. If you're looking for, like, uh, you know, a phenomenal storyline, things like that, mm, you know. But if you're looking for something that's exciting, something's going to, you know, I mean, an earthquake movie with good subs. I mean, Subwoofer uh, was basically invented for the earthquake movie, uh, you know, back in, I think, the 60s or 70s. It was a movie called Earthquake. So... Obviously, a movie called San Andreas, uh, dealing with earthquakes, pretty awesome for bass. So it's, it's worth checking out. And, you know, for me, again, it was my first Atmos movie. It's just what I could find at the store I was at. So I, I just grabbed it. And, it, you know, it's, it's, been a, it's been a fun movie. And, again, having everything properly configured, you hear a lot more. It just it really makes the difference. Um but anyway, I, so as far as the whole movie goes, I, you know, I think it was a pretty good one, you know, and, and again, uh, the Roger Waters, The Wall is also a great movie um, for people that like concerts and stuff like that. I, I'm hoping to see more concert movies being mixed in Atmos or DTSX. Uh, I, I really think it makes a huge difference in terms of uh, how much enjoyment you get out of watching it. It, it was just amazing. Um, but, you know, as far as this movie goes, uh, for San Andreas, you know, the bass didn't seem overdone. It seemed appropriate for the subject matter, um, earthquakes and stuff like that. There weren't a whole bunch of missed opportunities. They really got the bass where the bass should have been, um, where there are some movies like, you know, a particular scene uh, out of Star Wars, The Force Awakens. Uh, there was a scene where a planet explodes. It was good, but exploding planet should have had more base out of it um but you know it's pretty good uh the dialogue was nice and clear you know again i that it was a much clearer with atmos properly configured um 
you know, and this was an Atmos movie. I'm going to be listening to a DTSX only movie, a movie that was mixed in DTSX. Um, I actually ordered Jason Bourne. Uh, I'll be getting that tomorrow. So I'm looking forward to hearing that. Um, most of the movies I've heard so far have been uh, the, the Atmos mix. So I'm going to see how that goes. I'm going to see, kind of get an idea. I know it's just, it's a completely different feature, you know, a completely different film, but I'm curious if I can get some differences between Atmos and DTSX. Uh, for sure, they're both, they're both good platforms. Uh, and, you know, if you're going out uh, amplifier shopping, it's a good idea to make sure you get an amplifier that's got uh, both uh, Atmos and DTSX. And one of the reasons I got uh, the... Uh, X6200 was because it could do both uh, Atmos DTSX and it can also be upgraded to do RO3D which has the voice of God and all that stuff so kind of cool and interesting but um, but that's one thing to look for if you're in the market for a new amplifier it's good to look for uh, to have all three of those immersive formats um, but I think this movie did really well you know the the it had plenty of bass. It wasn't just kind of missing. It just didn't come in on certain areas. It was good all the way around. Um, so pretty good. Again, definitely a summer blockbuster. So if it's, you know, it may not be for everyone, but I certainly had fun with it. I definitely had more fun with everything being properly configured. Uh, so anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think of the new format. Um, you know, given the, you know, what it's like to hear from a home, home theater perspective, uh, I think it's awesome. I think this is the way to experience movies. Uh, I really don't usually go to theaters uh, when I when a movie comes out. I wait till it comes out on on Blu-ray or whatever because I can pause it. <laughs> you know, uh, I can get up and go to the bathroom and not miss anything. So and it's fun. And when you have good subs and and, and a great setup, wow! Well, it's it's I'm definitely spoiled. You know, I went to having a a 32 inch TV all, all by itself in here for about two or three weeks and you know this is definitely better <laughs> so anyway guys let me let me know what you think let me know what you think of the new website layout um you know i i, I still have some work to do on it but uh i thought this list would be handy uh you just it's a, it's a quick way to scroll through see what's available see if you see anything you like you have to go through searching and doing all these filters and you know i tried searching on amazon just for atmos movies and it would bring up movies that weren't atmos so that was kind of maddening. Um, all these are uh, supposed to be Atmos. And when, a trick when you're looking at these, like on Amazon or something, um, it has the pictures. Hey, Bear. Thanks, bud. Licking. Um, but you go and you click on it, and then you, you look at the back cover, and it will say Atmos on it. Like, well, I can do this right here. See, this says Dolby Atmos right there. So you can do that actually on Amazon. You can look at these and look at the back and actually tell if it's Atmos uh, or if it's DTSX, whatever it is. So anyway, guys, that's my review of San Andreas. Um, you know, pretty cool movie. I uh, didn't want to give any spoilers, but definitely for the base, uh, it gets an A. So thanks for watching and please subscribe.